welcome welcome back to my channel um if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go under the video and press the subscribe button and also press the thumbs up to like the video and don't forget to share the video on your various platform i like to know where you're watching from it informs me of the type of songs and the type of uh, progressions that i should develop for you so let me know where you are watching from okay um i saw a video uh all link sign should all acquaintance be forgotten ever brought to mind i don't think i've made a video on that uh this thing uh, uh but hopefully i'll make a video in future but not now but when i heard that song or when i saw the progression for that song i i realized that i could also use that same progression i'll also use that same progression to do it to to uh, play another song that's our father who art in heaven hallow be thy name i have heard a song like that before even though i don't know the song so i pick the progression from key c for all the sang song and converted con converted it into key f and i'm using key f to play the same song for our, our father our father who art in heaven i'm going to use that same progression in key f to create a progression for our father because when I hear the song, I realize that that same progression can be used for <coughs> our father. Just to tell you that when you hear, you hear a progression, it can inform you on what that progression can be used for. Okay, so we are playing in key F. How do we identify key F? As I said in previous lessons, if you haven't watched my previous lesson, I have about 120 or 30 videos so please go and look for them and go through the lesson key f is the around uh, the three black keys around the three black keys around the three black keys and and is the key before the three black keys is the key before the three black keys is the key before the three black keys that's key f okay and we 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 need four chords to play this song so let's play the scale of key f so that we can deduce our chords from the scale so the scale of key f is okay that's the scale of key f and how many chords do we need we need four chords number one is do so you the first thing you have to do is to identify the do then you identify the same for the bass so you see that for the bass you press the octave do that's the do here and the do here and this is do for the treble the do is uh, f a c is the do f a c is the do okay then for the bass is uh, that octave do however i say if playing the two playing the two do's is a challenge for you because you are a beginner you can play one you can play one there's no problem but if you are comfortable you can play the two fine the next chord that we need is far okay so this is far the moment you identify the far then look for the two octave fa is this and this so fa the bass is fa for the treble is f b flat and d so this is the fa 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 that's f b flat and d fa okay the next chord that you need is so 
So the moment you identify the soul, you identify the soul here, immediately you also identify the octave soul. That's this soul and this soul. So, so how do we play the treble? The treble is like this. So, so, it's like this. And the bass is the octave so so the so is g c and e g c e is the hot is the so okay then the last chord that we need is la do re mi fa so la do re do re mi fa so la the moment you identify the la which is the white key between the two black keys you identify the same la for the bass here so you either play one if you are a beginner and you are not comfortable playing the two at the same time but if you are comfortable the two will go so this is the la how do we play the la uh, the root push, the root key for the la is this but for the purpose of this lesson we are playing the la like this 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 la, la. so the la is F, A, and D. F, A, and D. This, the, la, la. Okay. So how is the song going to move? It's do two beat. So two beat. Do two beats again, then fa two beats, then do two beats, then so two beats, then la, fa, and do. That's the first portion of the song. Fortunately, there is a pattern between the verse and the chorus the chorus also has the same pattern so it's the same repetition uh, do two beats for the chorus so two beats do two beats fa two beats do two beats so two beats then la fa and so it's as simple as that when I'm playing, the progression will appear. So let's let's try and use this chord and try and see how I have used this. Even though I don't know how to sing the song, I've created how to how I'm going to use it to apply to this progression. So let's start. It's as simple as that. That's the verse. Okay. So let's look at the chorus. as simple as that a progression i saw somewhere and i'm using to play our father which i have no idea how to play okay let's go so let's combine the two together and see how it will go Say it in 
Okay, so you see how it goes. Let's try it once again. Then we'll use a different voice. Then we'll bring the lesson to close. Mm -hmm. As I told you, I created a, a, a song like this, so I don't know the, the original song. So if it's not according to the original song, forgive me. But I'm just teaching you how you can use other progression to create or to play for other songs. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you love how I use the Erling sing, Erling sang uh, chords to play this our father from key C to key F, please let me know and see you in the next lesson. Bye. Ciao.